Alrighty. Well, I've had a few people that have uh, inquired about the Viadoc. And so I thought I'd do a little bit of a video to um, kind of show you what it looks like up close. And then some people had some specific questions about the construction. So we'll do a quick little overview here at the... I'll try not to move the camera too quickly so it'll stay in focus. Just kind of sweeping around and then we'll go in for some close-up pictures in just a minute. There we go. So pretty much the whole viaduct was uh, the skeleton of the viaduct was constructed out of um, wood and then um, once I had the uh, arcs um, cut right and put together. I then used some one by threes to make the um, to hold up the structure and so inside of this column here is a one by three and a one by three here going down and here and then in this column as well. Uh, then with the facade of, of uh, birch plywood, uh, I think I used quarter inch, or th yeah, quarter inch on the outside. And once I had the whole wooden facade created, then I covered the viaduct with uh, plaster. Actually, I used a uh, joint compound. And um, then after I had applied the joint compound, had it fairly even coat on the, uh, the viaduct uh, wood superstructure then I uh, spent pretty much last December uh, when I had opportunities I would come down to the room and use dental tools and etch out all of these individual blocks as well as I had made a I made a tool that I could use to keep this fairly even all the way around in the arch and then I came back and etched out the individual blocks. This section here is uh, one long piece of material that I fabricated and then I came back and added these little pieces underneath that are the supports for this uh, rock or concrete edging on the, on the bridge and I use the railing is railing from um, I think I purchased that from Fowler and I got that from Walter at uh, Euro Rail Hobbies and more and then the cantonary I just I use the Markland cantonary as well as Markland C track and then it was just a matter of coloring and then weathering the uh, the bridge, you know, you've got some areas that's a little bit of white that's been added as, you know, these things, the mortar leaches out the lime and that sort of thing. So just to give it a bit of color. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. It, it was just, you know, it takes a little time to carve out all the little stones. And, uh, but once you find the right process and you kind of uh, get going it, it moves along pretty quickly so well that's it um, hope that's helpful and hope that you'll come back and see other videos as uh, the layout progresses thanks